Hello my friends, how you doing? It is me, Lasty here. Welcome today to a brand new episode of the RTG here on FC24. Another episode of the series known as 99 Hunting or End Game Cool Player Hunting. <laughs> Basically, at this stage of the game, we are going to go for a whole big old batch of packs uh, and see what we can add to the club today. If you enjoy it, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe as well if you're new. FC25 is just around the corner, so make sure you're all sorted. Subscribe, turn the notification button, bell thingy on, all of that so you don't miss some brand new content as and when it's available. Uh, so let's get stuck in then. Uh, we will have many, 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 an 84 times 10, an 85 times 10, uh, whatever the SBCs are within that, you know, it, you, the player picks here, there, icons, footies, you name it, we've, we've kind of got a little bit of everything today. And I wanted to add some more cool stuff into our collection book, as it were, um, because... It's that time of year where I just, I literally just, like, I want to end the series by doing a cool club tour video, and I'll be able to have, like, a super team from each of the top leagues, uh, like a full best icon team, my Ipswich squad that I could show you. All of that sort of stuff is how I would kind of like to end the series. Um, this is cool, by the way. A 96 Bruno Guimaraes, and uh, so, like... One copper player, one team of the tournament player from, uh, uh, is it a team of the tournament or Path to Glory? I think that's Path to Glory, actually, isn't it? Uh, Ruben Diaz, so that's a, no, a new 97 rated player that we didn't already own. Uh, we've already got Bruno G, of course. Uh, but yeah, that is a, a, a nice big one to add to the roster. Uh, he could very well go in as, you know, Premier League centre back. Uh, him alongside like Vincent Company or something, the players that I've got. Got like Kyle Walker, Joe Gomez, just thinking of a few. Um, so yeah, that's that's what we could do. Now, one of four, 93 plus Ico. That's the expensive SBC as well. It's the one where it's one of four, and I got four already owned. Uh, I know we've got a lot of the greats of the game, but I am still so hoping for Hullet for R9. Roberto Carlos as well, is that one? That's one that I would really like, at least. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and submit this stuff in. Uh, because I had the duplicate there, let's go ahead and get or oh, another 93 plus, one of four done. So that's the two that I'm available to do of these today. Uh, can we get someone not already owned? Uh, yeah, we can. <laughs> I just decided to put Berezi in there because I don't really value him in the club. And I end up getting him back. So that was just basically me throwing a load of fodder into the fire. Essentially, that's all it was. That literally is, yeah, that's what it was. Oh, dear. Uh, but we can get ourselves actually a tradable Futties card. Now, I know it is the end of August. It is almost September. Uh, however, you know, we're going to get in excess of 17,000 coins for this 96 rated Malassia. Um, so that's all right. And he's a duplicate as well. So I can quite happily sell him, quite willingly sell him on. So I just realized my chain is out. I don't normally wear that out when I'm on filming duties. Uh, some sort of footies here as well. So that's going to be Stark, isn't it? Yeah, Stark and a footies Alan St. Maximon. Uh, no, we've already got him. Yeah, we've definitely already got him. 99 pace, 99 dribbling though. I'm sure he is a fun player to use. All sorts of dupes in that one. So we're going to need to go ahead and submit those into... Um, a 94 plus part of glory, make your mark, team of the tournament, footies, blah, 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 all of that. You know, can we get someone we haven't already got? No. All right, we we must be like right on the cusp of having nearly all of the really good cards on this game. I, I think we are just like that top like 1% of players are the ones that I'm properly struggling to get. But you have to do those player pick SBCs in order to potentially get them. So it's if it ends up being a duplicate, all it is is a slight waste of time because fodder is just like unlimited attainable, isn't it? So um, yeah, uh, I will continue to do that sort of stuff in the hopes that one day I will open a player pick and it won't say already owned for every single player. Uh, we do get a duplicate Di Ketelara there, which is a 95 rated card. Uh, French left back. Oh, I was just hoping maybe it could have been like a a little 99 rated Karchawi or something. Um, would she be out? 
Maybe, I'm not sure. I can't really remember exactly what's in packs right now. There's so much stuff. Uh, double tots means there could be a footies behind it, but there isn't. It's actually a triple tots and a whole bunch of fodder. Another 85 times 10 then. Footies this time around. Uh, so that's Horan from Leon Women. And then the Futties player is Hero Deadly Ledley. Uh, yeah, we've got Ledley King there as a duplicate. I know I've already got him. I packed him a whole bunch of times when he was out in packs to begin with. So, uh, yeah, this is one of the more common heroes, I would say, um, that I'm packing left, right, and centre. But I could pop that into yet another... Uh, what is this one this time? It's just that 94 plus again. Come on, come on, come on! I mean, I did just say I'd love to see not already owned on at least one player. But that's, that's not the player that I'm talking about, is it? Come on, guys. Uh, I, I I would like someone a bit more endgame than that. Um, Brazilian right back icon. All right. That's probably Carlos Alberto, isn't it? Yeah. Carlos Alberto and Kyle Walker. 97 rated Kyle Walker would be an immaculate person to pack if we didn't already own the cards. I've got him. Already got this one. Yeah, so that's a 97 rated dupe um, of a decent value. Well, I'm guessing he's probably super cheap now, actually. But he was probably still the best, one of the best centre-back, right-back combos on the game type thing. Um, we are going to get a 99 rated in this episode, though. If you know, Even if it means that I have to do an SBC for one. Wes Fodderingham is, uh, for some reason, out as a 99 rated card. I don't know if there's a story behind that, but I... Uh, have unlocked him. 99 rated Fodderingham. Uh, actually got some insane stats as a goalkeeper right there. But we'll take the 99 rating. Uh, it's somewhat, I think he's 5 star, 5 star as well. So uh, yeah, I mean that could potentially go in our end game Premier League side. Uh, although I'd probably still use like Martinez over him maybe or Pickford. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Who knows. Um, that looks like we're going to get ourselves a duplicate 97 uh, Betty Pele, yeah, it does. Uh, so just thinking about some of the 99s that we haven't got, like Pele, Ronaldo, Messi. So, I mean, getting getting Ronaldo and Messi would be like proper end game completion, wouldn't it? But for some reason, I just can't seem to get them. Um, I need to just binge more and more and more packs, don't I, really? That's, that's just the only way to to get it done um what if you guys have packed like a 99 cr7 or the 99 messi and stuff what did you get them in was it one of the 84 times 10s and stuff curious to know another icon player pick there with three duplicates of course we'll just take the 96 rated fernando hierro because uh he is the highest rated of the three 96 overall rating and i think he probably just goes into another 85 times 10 either that or another part of another icon sbc um I can't even remember at this point. Bernardo Silva and Icardi right there. Okay, 95 Icardi's not a bad one to get every now and again just because he's super high rated fodder. Uh, Tots as well, which is good for requirements. So he is going to go... Well, I'm actually going to submit him into a, a 91 rated squad that doesn't need a Tots. But I guess that was the final piece of the puzzle to get another icon pick done. Come on, give me someone that I haven't already got. Oh, uh, when will it end? The misery. The misery of not owning a Hullet or an R9 at this point is just sad. It really is. Um, the, the amount of times you can get all the other ones, but just not those two final final boss kind of icons is sad. Uh, Edison, yeah, my, my team scored a goal against him at the weekend. Easy stuff. Sammy Smodix for the win. Uh, and then, oh, a player that we haven't actually already had. Zaire Emery is actually a, a very cool card. And I believe this Tots card can go into one of those Evos to turn him into like a 97 rated card with like insane club 90 stats. So, uh, yeah, nice to get Zaire Emery. Um, I'll take that. That's a, that's a very, very nice card to get. Uh, and Dina Tale is also a very good card to get and an 86 plus player pick. 97 rated. This card was sort of a unicorn for a little while. Uh, now he's literally 20k. Um, but he was one of those cards that for a little while people could not get their hands on. He was super rare when those uh, those heroes first came out. Um, and uh, I think people were desperately trying to get hold of him. And uh, he was like way over a million coins, I'm pretty sure. Um, 98 rated. Lautaro Martinez again, and the GOAT, Dante. Uh, 
I think I probably already own both. Oh, no, maybe I don't already own Dante. I've, I've probably popped him into an SGC, but I definitely already have that 98-rated Martinez. That's not one that you would forget about. Um, pop those guys into another daily batch of 85 times 10s This was recorded over a couple of days. Uh, that, to me, looks like a Kante. I'm surprised, actually, that his footies is not the one out, or maybe it is also out. I think you can pack multiple versions of a player at this point, can't you? But yeah, double French uh, 96 rated walkouts there in St. Max and Kante. I mean, that right there is one hell of an 85 times 10, isn't it? Really, like the amount of high level dupes there, double footies as well, um, is, uh, is definitely kind of nuts. So those guys go into another part of an SBC and uh, probably the, the higher rated part of the Icon SBC. Come on, let's get something that we haven't already got. Oh, it's another day. So it's another one of the one of four icons. And it's another disappointing time where we get four duplicate players. Oh, well, sad times. Uh, that look, looks to me like it's going to be a footies icon check. Yeah, it is. Uh, Petter check and uh, Pellegrini this time around. Definitely already got check. He is one of or the end game goalkeeper, depending on how you look at it. Oh. A rare card in my eyes, a 95-rated Team of the Year icon, Mia Ham, Someone that I can say I have finally packed over here. Um, buzzing with that, actually. That's quite a nice one to get. One for the collection, anyway. I've always liked that card design and the dynamic image and stuff. It's a cool one. Uh, I know there's a 99 available in SBC. But another one of four icon. Oh, yes! We get some that aren't already owned. Now, obviously, the choice here is between Mateus and Zico. I did a quick check on Footwiz. Mateus was 180k or was it 300k? Something like he was more expensive. Zico's like 17k. I can't believe that, by the way. I'm going to go and buy him in case I don't pack him. Um, but yeah, Mateus and Zico as options there. Uh, and I'm going to take that 96 rated Mateus. What a pack that is. I'm, I'm actually very, very happy about that. A really, really cool one for the uh, for the collection book. Um, unfortunately, I do already own this 94 rated Bobby Charlton. I've also got the 97 Bobby Charlton. Uh, and I do already own the 97 Alaba as well. So we're starting to see... The high-end players that are coming out in these packs are a lot of the time duplicates. Um, and they're the ones that I would genuinely keep. So like the Sophia Smith and stuff that we just got there, uh, they always go straight back into SBCs. However, the you know, the cool, the cool high-rated cards I tend to keep. And then when they're a duplicate, they go into a bigger and better SBC. Uh, so I did the objective for Kefren Turam. We're just gonna, as a last resort in this episode, gonna unlock ourselves a 97 rated crazy centre mid in Kefren Turam. Of course, moved to Juventus. Um, you need to play one game on any game mode of Ultimate Team, so get one of your mates to give you a, a win, and then complete an 88-rated squad, and you can get that Kefren Turam. Not quite sure why you don't just complete an 88-rated squad. Maybe they're just trying to get people to, to keep playing the game, but... Um, we're going to go ahead and unlock him, of course, because why wouldn't you, right? It's a super cheap way to get a, a very cool card, uh, a nice transferred one as well. Uh, my friends, that has brought us to the end of the episode today. I have sort of re shuffled the team around a little bit or maybe i haven't at this point no that'll be at the start of tomorrow's episode uh, i've ever so slightly rejigged like who i think would go in my final team um so far anyway uh my friends thank you for watching if you've enjoyed hit the thumbs up button subscribe follow me on socials tonight I will be at uh, AFC Wimbledon away. So we've got some Carabao Cop action tonight. Hopefully see some of Ipswich Town's new signings in action, which would be quite fun. That's why I'm wearing the blackout Ipswich top today. I'm going to wear that one uh, away to Wimbledon. Have a great day, everyone. Take it easy, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.